This is pasta cell assistance video for Matthias Dogs. Dago John, I hope you I pronounce your name correctly. Which is having treble, who is having treble um, working the step relay with the power key by ZA Electronics. This uh, switch comes with the connector and some wiring. I think you received this. If not, uh, furniture was incomplete. You need both key and cable. You get four uh, cables for four keys. The power key is marked power on the cables, so please use power cables so you have same colors as everybody else. These other are marked auto, normal, and pursuit. This one connects like this. It can't connect the other side because there is a dent here. There are two pink wires, but you can distinguish them because the one for the switch is fatter, the one for the LED is thinner. Also, it's with an LED on the LED cable and it's, it's written common on the switch cable. This device is two devices, one it has lamp and the switch. For the LED lamp you use these two wires, for the switch these two. The two devices are independent. For this test we just use the, the switch. It's a push button. While you keep down it closes the contact between these two. If you have a digital multimeter you can check the switch without the step relay to confirm it works. The multimeter should have a, a position to test ohms. When it's in ohms, it says OL, OL of limits, or some other multimeters say 1 when it is open. When it is closed, it's, it writes 0. You can use this to check a switch. Don't use your fingers or it will show the resistance of your body. So you cannot use fingers to make contact or it will show the resistance of your body. You need alligator clips or something similar. So it shows off limits, this multimeter other say 1 when it is open circuit, when you close it says 0 or pretty much 0. This one says 7 ohm, 6 ohm which is very low resistance, it's called contact resistance of the switch, it is uh, acceptable up 50 ohms. Some multimeters also have this symbol here, they will make a beep when uh, when closing circuit like this, beep. When it's closed, it beeps. So, let's check the switch. It uh, beeps when pushing. So, the switch is okay. You can check the step relay without the button with the power supply. I have laboratory power supply set it uh, between 12 and 13.8 volts. Then I have cables here and alligator clips. The step relay has here a switch and it's marked 1 and 2. One, two. And it has the coil in these two screw terminals. It's marked A1, A2. So
When you input supply into the coil, it will do. When supply is in, the coil uh, calls this um, a magnetic field calls this uh, this lever. The lever will make this pa plastic part rotate one uh, step, one step, one step, one step. For each step. The switch here will open and close. So with the 12 volt power supply you check the relay without the switch. If one of the two doesn't work you know which one. Now we can uh, check all together. And the connection is It's 12V both in a 1 and a, in a 2 and A2, sorry. Screw terminal 2 and screw terminal A2. And please use red wire because this is a positive supply and it's better to use red wires for positive supply. So you have positive supply here and here. Then you have on the other end of the coil you need the normally open contact which is brown wire. And on the fat pin cable, which is marked common, within ground supply, which I have on this alligator clip from power supply. Now it should work. For each time I push here, it will do one step like this. For each step, this switch open and closes and you have 12 volt to put here on and off one press on one press off thanks for watching